Our top focus this evening, it may be raining in several parts of India, but a water crisis slowly building on the Kaveri River. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has written to the centre demanding that it ask Karnataka to release water to Tamil Nadu as the standing Kuruvai rice crop in Tamil Nadu's Kaveri Delta districts are at risk. Karnataka is coping with an erratic monsoon and deficient rainfall leading to low storage levels in reservoirs on the Kaveri Basin including at the Krishnaraja Sagar Dam where the storage is at the moment only 16.19 TMC feet as opposed to a maximum of nearly 50 TMC feet. For the month of June, Tamil Nadu says it has had a shortfall in release from Karnataka of nearly 7 TMC feet of water. Monthly release of water was laid down by the 2018 judgment of the Apex Court and water in the months of July, August and September are essential for Tamil Nadu, which had started releasing water from the Metu re Reservoir on the 12th of June. This is what Karnataka's Deputy Chief Minister and Water Resources uh, Irrigation Minister D.K. Shivkumar had to say on Karnataka's position. Definitely, we will have to honor uh, the verdict of the authority. Whatever the, we don't have uh, sufficient uh, rains, but still we want to respect uh, <coughs> the verdict. Whatever the water is available, we are planning to release it. Definitely, we will honor it. So but we may not be able to uh, release uh, without keeping for drinking water, keeping uh, drinking water in uh, mind. We don't have uh, sufficient water. Today, tomorrow we are expecting some rains. It is too less. I think uh, last, uh, one day, last few years we had good rains, but this year we are not sufficient. But still, we will uh, respect Sir, it. The issue is yet not hit the headlines, but it's something that everyone's closely watching. And it would depend on monsoon and, and reservoir levels in Karnataka on how this develops. Joining us now is Pratibha Raman from Bengaluru and Sam Daniel as well from Chennai. First to you, Pratibha. Give us a quick sense of the situation in Karnataka and what you're hearing from the government. In fact, uh, Karnataka right now is playing a wait and watch game. They are trying to see how monsoons would play out in uh, the next few days to try and see if they can keep enough water for drinking purposes in the state before actually valuing and honoring uh, 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 the authorities' uh, decision or even Tamil Nadu's demand for water. In the meanwhile, much would depend on the water levels here in Karnataka too. In fact, if you look at today's capacity, it stands at uh, 16 TMC feet in the KRS Dam and uh, 13 TMC feet in uh, the Kabini Reserve. These are the two main reservoirs here which uh, share Kaveri water between uh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. So much would depend on how monsoons would play out in Karnataka in the next few days. Veera. Important point that you make there. Uh, Sam Daniel, it would all depend on the monsoon and the reservoir positions here. It may not yet be one of uh, grave concern at the moment. But uh, does Tamil Nadu have a contingency plan in place? Very Raghav, at the moment, the water is available just for 20 days and the government, to begin with, has reduced the outpour or the outflow from the Metu Reservoir from 12,000 to 10,000 cusacks, hoping that they'll be able to prolong it for a few more days. But they are all hoping that the northeast monsoon would be early. But uh, otherwise, only those farmers who have fertile tube wells will be able to save the crops and then the rest may have to overlook a major crop loss in the Delta region, particularly those who had chosen to uh, go for the short-term Kuruvai crop. But the larger point, of course, is that despite a Supreme Court verdict, duly elected governments, particularly in Karnataka, they've chosen to not abide by the distress sharing formula to share the available water with the lower riparian state, that's Tamil Nadu. But instead, they argue that they require water and they will not be able to share unless their reservoirs are full. So it's also a political issue with the BGP, for instance, having political stakes in Karnataka would not be want to be seen pushing Karnataka to release waters. In that case, they may have to face a backlash there. That's the case with both national parties, Congress and Karnataka. And for the ruling Congress, releasing waters at the moment before the Lok Sabha elections would also be seen to be politically a suicidal one. So, no honouring of the Supreme Court verdict, but lots of politics and the farmers are at the receiving end hoping the rain god would save them now. Veera 
Right, important point that you make there. Uh, all prayers to the rain gods. Remember, even a week of good rain in the catchment area could change the reservoir levels dramatically. We'll keep a very close track of that because it's an issue that could develop in the coming days, as Sam Daniel and Pratibha are pointing out. Thank you too for joining us.